like the pretty kitties. Haley, I, I never knew you liked cats. I figured you were just a dog person. Yeah, I like big cats. They're so cute. Well, okay. Well, you know, these guys right here remind me of the story today about Daniel and the lion's den. Wouldn't that be awesome to be able to play with the lions like Daniel did? Um, I think I would be worried about being shredded by those pretty kitties. Not me. They're just so stinking cute. That's maybe why I don't get this story. They're just pretty kitties. Okay. Well, um, let's just think for a minute. Let's change the story a little so you can understand how dangerous it really was for Daniel. What's an animal you're really scared of? Hmm, let me see. Besides you when you've not had your morning coffee, I guess mice scare me. Especially white ones with those pink little eyes. Wait, are, are you being serious? Yeah, they have those long tails and those noses. They wiggle when they sniff things. Ugh, I get chills just thinking about them. Oh, well, well, okay. Okay, let's review the story and instead of lions, we'll use mice. Okay, I will try, but... <laughs> That's truly terrifying. Okay, so Daniel chapter six tells us that Daniel was now serving under King Darius as a trusted administrator who was over the satraps who helped rule the country. He was trusted and liked by the king because of his honesty and he did what he was asked to do. The satraps though, some of them didn't like him and were jealous of him. Is this the part with the mice? Not yet, Haley, hold on. So anyway, the satraps tried to find something wrong or dishonest about Daniel so they could go to the king and try to have him thrown out. But they couldn't because Daniel was just a really good person who worshiped God. They came up with a truly evil plan though. This is it. They're throwing him in with the mice. Hold on, Haley. It's, it's coming, but not just yet, okay? So, the satraps tricked the king into passing a law that said that anyone who worshipped anything or anyone other than the king, King Darius, would be thrown into the lion, I mean, um, into the mouse's den. Eek! You okay? Okay. Anyway, this law couldn't be changed by anyone after it was broken, meaning that not even the king could change his mind, okay? He couldn't change the punishment. So, if someone worshipped anything or anyone other than King Darius for 30 days, then it was bad news for them. But Daniel knows that you can't worship anyone but God. Exactly. So Daniel went into his home three times a day and prayed to God for help. But the satraps followed him home and found him praying to God and had him arrested. Then they went to the king and told him what they had found out and reminded him of the law he had made. And Haley, this is the part with the mice, so I just want you to get ready. Okay. Okay. Though the king didn't want to and it bothered him greatly, he had to have Daniel thrown into the, uh, the mouse's den. He even told Daniel, May your God, whom you serve continually, rescue you. And he had the den sealed so no one could get in or out. Darius went back to his home, but he was so upset he couldn't eat or sleep all night because of the terrible things that he thought were happening to Daniel in the mouse's den. I think I'm going to faint. Okay. okay. Wait, Haley. It's okay. It's okay. Hold on. The story isn't over yet. How can it not be? Daniel was just thrown in to be attacked by all those mice. They probably ran all over him with their tiny little scurrying feet and wiggly long tails. Ah! Something touched my foot! Something touched my foot! Something touched my foot! Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry, Haley. I think my foot accidentally just brushed up against yours. It's okay. You can get off the table. Okay. Okay. The 
chair there. Okay. All right. And what happened? You're right. All right. Okay. So in the morning, King Darius goes straight to the... Um, Mouse's? Yeah, that place. Mouse's den. And he yells into the den, Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God whom you serve continually been able to rescue you from the lions? And Daniel answers him back. May the king live forever. May God's, my God sent his angel and he shut the mouths of the lions. They have not hurt me because I found innocent in his sight. Nor have I ever done any wrong before you, your majesty. Wow, he didn't get eaten by the lions. I mean, mice? No, no. God sent an angel to protect him, just like he did with those three men in the fire. Sand trap mishap and archipelago. Yeah, them. So what happened to the men, those traps that tried to get Daniel killed? Did they have to clean the king's bathrooms forever? Uh, no. No. Much worse. They were thrown into the mouse's den, and there was no angel to save them because they had such evil hearts. So you're saying the mice got them? Yeah, and, and their families, too. But King Darius was so relieved and overjoyed that Daniel survived, he made a decree that everyone must follow Daniel's God because he was worthy of all the praise for saving Daniel's life. Wow, just wow, that's the coolest. But I've gotta go, all this talk about mice has reminded me I need to go check all the mouse traps in my house. Well, Haley, how many do you have set? 76.